What up guys, today we're going to do an installation of the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector for the Z Fold 2. Now, shout out to Whitestone, they did send this to me as well as one for the Note 20. And I did already put it on the Note 20, I was going to film it. Thankfully, I didn't because I kind of screwed it up. But I did get it on there eventually and it is really nice and clean. I did forget a couple steps. As I go through the process on here, I definitely will tell you about those steps that you don't want to forget. It is a little different of a process between the Z Fold 2 and the Note 20, but let's just get right into it. Again, they do provide everything for you in the box, as well as a UV light to help at the end process, to help cure everything, to make sure you are good to go. Now, we're just going to jump right in. So Z Fold 2, first thing we want to do, we want to clean the display. Wipe it down first. Again, they will provide you with everything. So you do want to take one of these cleaning cloths that they do provide and you want to wipe down your display you want your display to be nice and clean free of dust free of anything that can cause air bubbles under your display right we don't want air bubbles under our display it's terrible i hate it it makes me want to redo it every time i see it wipe it down make sure you get everything nice and clean once you have it you can throw it inside of the provided case here for it now one more thing i do like to do is i will take this little dust sticker and i will use this and get any more debris off sometimes you can't see it but it is there and we will go around the phone just to get kind of any excess dust off of here make it nice and clean now once we do that we can go to the next step you can see here we do have some stickers here. These are going to be our guide stickers. You're going to have two for the top, one for the top, one for the bottom, and two for each side. So we do want to place these on first. These are going to prevent any excess juice or adhesive, whatever you want to call it, from getting onto this, well, all four corners of our phone. So on here, there are little brackets that stick up for each end. So we want to place this right on top of there. I do a nice job at giving you everything you need there is a cutout for it once you place it on there you actually can go in and you can peel this back off right so now one end is sticky that's the side that's going to go onto the phone it's going to cover your camera or your edge actually make sure it's nice you don't want to cover the glass though make sure you're not covering a lot of the glass because you want that liquid to go right to the edge of the glass and then we want to do one on the bottom Put the bottom one on. And then once you have your guide stickers on there, you do want to go back one more time with your dust sticker and get any excess particles off of there. So we will get rid of any extra dust. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and you can put the top tray on. And you can see on the top tray, you do have some more padding here, which will also help and prevent a lot of the excess liquid, the excess, what do they call it, loca? I think they call it loca. That's what it's called. Then you're going to take this pin and you are going to throw this pin here in the top. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bracket, your bridge, two slots here, one on each side for your bridge. Place your bridge on, and then you are going to take your loca, as they call it. you got two sides, one purple side and one black side. You're going to want to take off the purple cap and only the purple cap. Once you do that, nothing will come out of here still. You place this on, make sure it's nice and firm on there. Once you have it on there, you're going to take this and you're going to unscrew this. Now, once you unscrew your black cap, that is when the liquid is going to start coming out. So we'll do that. And you want to let it sit for a little while once it's out. Let it sit for about 60 seconds, 80 seconds. Make sure that all of it is out there. You don't want, you know... You, you don't want to try and take this off of here and have something drip somewhere else on your screen. That is a problem. And make sure you're on a flat surface here. You don't want this drifting over to the side. You want it to stay right in the middle, kind of like it is right now. It's still dripping out a little bit. So we're going to wait a little longer 
and make sure everything is out so we don't have any accidental spills going forward. One more drip, and then we'll throw this back on again. You want to typically 40, 50, 60 seconds. You should wait. You shouldn't have to wait much longer than that to get everything out. So we're going to stop there. We're going to put the black cap on. Looked like the last drip did just come out. So gently remove this and then put the black or the purple cap back on. Now, just put that to the side for now. Now you're gonna take your tempered glass screen protector and of course two sides. You're gonna peel off the side and of course the hole punch is for your camera. You're gonna peel off the one side. You're gonna remove the bridge actually first. Should have done that first. Then you're gonna place this on the bottom and you're gonna let this fall right on top. This is gonna to go to the center. You're gonna push down on the bottom and once that juice goes to the center, that's when you're gonna pull this pin and then it's just gonna spread. And you're gonna wait now about 60 to 80 seconds for this to fully spread. Then you're gonna take your UV light and you're going to cure it 15 seconds on the top 15 seconds on the bottom then you'll take everything apart you'll wipe it down you'll cure it one more time once everything spreads to exactly where it's supposed to be you can see the cutout here is exactly lined up over our camera and again we'll let this spread for a little while once it's nice and even that's when you'll start taking it apart after you cure it. Again, 15 seconds on the top, 15 seconds on the bottom. And this UV light here is very cool. They do provide you with this in the box. And you can see there's a couple small little round dots here. Two dots is 60 seconds, one dot is 15. All you have to do is push this button once. It will turn on for 15 seconds and automatically shut off. And then at the end, when you have to cure it for 60 seconds, you push it twice and it will automatically go for 60 seconds. So once it spreads even, you can take your glass and you're gonna cure the top part. You're gonna let it 15 seconds on the top. That's how long you wanna cure it for. And then of course, 15 seconds on the bottom and then we can start removing everything. It'll shut off automatically once it's done curing. Shuts off and we can start taking it apart very carefully, of course. We do wanna be gentle with it still. There is excess loca on each of these. Take off all four of these, and we can get our phone out and take a look at the actual glass screen protector. And we're gonna, I'm gonna cure it actually one more time before I remove it. And again, you want to do that for about 60 seconds. Push it twice. Now. Again, not a perfect installation. So again, if you are new to this like I am, you're gonna wanna not do a few things on here. So you saw, once I put the loca on here, I accidentally tilted it to the right and some of that liquid spilled over off of the phone. So there actually wasn't enough liquid to fully go all the way around the screen protector. Thankfully, I did get most of it. It's just down here that we're kind of missing a little bit. So you want to be very careful once you put this liquid on your tempered glass screen protector or on your phone, you don't want to tilt this in any way, right? You're only supposed to tilt it down to get that to start to move to the center. Once it's in the center, that's when you're going to pull your pin and then it will spread nice and even. Unfortunately, when I tilted it to the right, the loco went off to the right of the phone. It fell off of the actual top of the display and it didn't allow me to get good coverage. And you can see there are some imperfections on here as far as the installation process goes. So it's crazy, man. The first time I did this on the Note 20, you know, for the most part, it's it, this is a pretty good installation on here. Now, the one thing I did wrong on the Note 20 is they give you little covers for the top here to cover your front camera lens, and I forgot to put it on. Thankfully, it didn't mess anything up. 
it still works just fine. The front facing camera still works just fine. And it's a nice and even installation on the Note 20. I did get a bunch of excess loca coming on to the phone. It's, you can see it's still here. It's still a little greasy from that. But overall, this installation probably went a little bit better than the one I just did on the Z Fold 2. So take this installation in this video of what not to do, right? Plenty of installations on here of what to do. Use this as, not, as what not to do. But we did save it. Now, we do want to wipe it down again. Wipe it down one more time. We'll take a microfiber cloth and we will wipe it down. And you can see not a perfect installation. I do have a bubble down here on the bottom and that's just about it. A little bubble here and a little bubble there. Overall, it did save pretty good. And because it moved on me when I tried to fix it, when it, you know, not the perfect installation, a little disappointing on here. It's powered on. Take a look at it. But at least we're protected now, right? It is protected. Not the perfect installation. We'll try it again on a different phone. I'm going to get this and get it right eventually. So what not to do? Do not tilt this to the right when you are putting the liquid on there it will mess up your installation be very careful when you do that but overall i'm glad it's on there it is very clean man the parts that are perfect on here are perfect so close to being perfect just not quite a little off but overall look these are some of the best screen protectors you can get it is a process to put on you know this is only the second time i've ever put one on i've did make mistakes on both of these, but overall, I'm pretty happy with both of them. I'm going to leave them on for now and see how good they last, how good they are. But for now, the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for the Z Fold 2, as well as the Note 20. That's it, guys. I'll be back soon. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your week. Peace.